Welcome back everyone. Sorry I've been away as usual, taking my time. So for this project we were installing some grey Indian sandstone. Uh, we already did the fence as you can see in the background. We started off by clearing the area, clearing these two mounds. Just to get it, yeah, we wanted the uh, lawn area to just be nice and level. So yeah, we cleared the area. Then we started clearing all the block paving from around the exterior of the house. I uh, can't remember how many square meters. I think it's about 60 square meters in total. We then topped up the type one. There was type one underneath that sand. Um, I'm not lying, it uh, did have a sub base. So we just topped a couple of areas up. Uh, then we set up our lines using a laser level um, and just set those all around the house to set the depth of our or the height of our slab, shall I say. All of the slabs were laid on a five to one sand and cement mix. We always wet down the back of the sandstone before putting the slab down. I always find it bonds better. Um, yeah, so we cracked that out, did a few cuts, did a recess drain in the background there. And um, yeah, obviously used our levels, um, nice full wet bed of sand and cement, 5-1 mix, uh, just adding water. Yeah, so we cracked that out and um, I'll leave you to the music and I'll chat back in a minute with the pointing. So I'm going to show you how to do a traditional pointing mix at a 5 to 1 ratio using Hanson's building sand. So you need your fev mix, your building sand, your cement, your pointing trowels and a gauging trowel. Now when doing this you want to do use an even measure. So I use um, a little pot, a 1 litre pot and I do 5 scoops of the sand and then one scoop of cement. And then mix that around in my gorilla bucket. Oh, I'm actually using a, a cup here, but I'm, you, you get the gist. You wanna use the same measures each time. Um, so yeah, you, you wanna put your five, five scoops in of building sand, and then your cement, one scoop off. You wanna mix that around in the bucket there. Um, just keep on mixing and mixing and mixing. I prefer these gorilla tubs because they're a little easier than a bucket. Um, but yeah, just keep mixing, shaking it about, just mixing and mixing and mixing until you've got a nice consistent mix like you would for a mixer. You then want to add in 25 millilitres of the Feb mix. Uh, you can use any brand. I mean, some I prefer certain concentrates better than others. Certain suppliers do better ones, personally, I think. Um, yeah, but basically, once you've mixed it all up, it's nice and grey. All consistent, no sand show, no cement zone, just a nice even mix. You want to put in your 25 milliliters of uh, Feb mix and probably about 50 milliliters of water. Um, I'm just going to pour it in with a bottle, so um, I've done it enough times to uh, to sort of know what sort of how much I want it. You don't want it too wet, like you don't want it slurry wet. You want it wet though. Um, so once you've done that, 
you want to beat that around, mixing it and mixing it and mixing it, beating it around. Obviously, the more you beat it, the wetter it will get because of the fab mix. And yeah, so keep beating it. And as you'll see in a minute, it's kind of like a certain consistency I want. It's sticking to the trowel. And yeah, that's the perfect mix for me. And then obviously as you go along, brush uh, pointing in the, the sandstone or your bricks, whatever you're doing. Uh, I always tend to, once I'm pushing it down, give it a nice amount of pressure, and you want to see like a, like almost a wet film over over the top. And once you've kind of seen that, you know you've got, um, yeah, it's going to go off nice and solid, and uh, be a lovely sort of flat. Well, I use a flat iron, so it'd be a lovely flat pointing line. 